Why does India want that assault Rafale instead of the Sukhoi Su-35 or the Mikoi An MiG-35? I will give a two-way approach to this answer on why Indian Air Force wants Rafales rather than Su-35 or MiG-35. MiG-35 Indian Air Force desires for an ultra-modern fighter aircraft for its MMRCI competition and hence Russia has offered its MiG-29M2 which has been redesignated as MiG-35. However MiG-35 has very slim chances to be ever considered by Indian Air Force. The MiG-35 performance was deemed average by IAF and MOD since it failed in Leh for cold trials and also showed poor ground attack capabilities. India has got their MiG-29 upgraded to UPG standards. Coming on to technicality, MiG-35 looks good on paper, carrying on the MiG-29 legacy with it along with an AES radar and good optronics but it severely lacks in comparison to other comparable Western aircrafts. MiG-35 was originally built for export purposes and is not that very advanced compared to the likes of Rafale or Typhoon and also does not give any sort of political leverage or ecosystem to India, which India wants in MMRC a deal. MiG-35 is neither stealthy, nor can it take on 4.5 generation aircrafts like Rafale or Typhoon. It has good maneuverability more advanced fly-by-wire systems and thrust vectors but severally lacks in range and can be just used for area defense. Moreover, India has quite a sour experience with the Mikoi An, after many of its MiG-29 faces severe maintainability issues. There is a lack of proper after-sales support also from Russian side. All these factors make IAF reject MiG-35. Su-35 now this is an interesting fighter since many think that after the success of Su-30 MKI, India should have went for Su-35. First of all we need to understand that Su-30 MKI filled in the niche for air superiority fighter which is more than satisfactory for IAF. Even though Su-35 has been offered by Russia, India does not want to accept the proposal as it is strengthened quite enough in air superiority aspect. What it wants next is an omni-role medium combat aircraft which can take on strike roles as well in which Su-30 MKI or Su-35 is severally lacking. Indian Air Force also realizes that it can bring on its flankers to the level of Su-35 with the help of a Super Sukhoi upgrade which will add an AES radar, more advanced avionics and better weapons to it. The need for additional flankers when one type filled in all requirements is effectively nullified. Therefore India does not pay much attention on ordering further flankers of another type. IAF keens on getting Rafales due to much needed political leverage it is offered from France which supported India on 1998 Pokhran tests and the advanced ecosystem for aircrafts which will be developed in India by the SALT which includes offsets clauses. Rafale is a completely new platform unlike Su-35 or MiG-35 which are based on 1970s era airframe, with ultra-modern avionics, weapons suite, sensors and strike capabilities. India is operating other assault aircraft still now and well knows how they perform. Rafale has a very low RCS making it semi-stealthy, has an AES radar. Much better after sales support and maintainability keeping most of the fleet operational at any given period of time. Neither MiG-35 nor Su-35 would have added anything significant to IAF purposes and needs and hence India wants Rafales which would give a technological edge over its adversaries. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and to press bell icon.